Vegan brownies. They say there's two, maybe even three different types of brownies, and that statement can be further from the facts. First, let's deconstruct this cake brownie. It's not fudgy enough to be a brownie, and it's not fluffy enough to be a cake. So you either got a brownie that's gone wrong, or you got a cake that's gone wrong. We don't want that. We want the chocolate lover's dream. A dense, super moist, square sized palm partner of fudge whose gooeyness is hand delivered to your tongue and wraps around it with intensely formidable flavor. I just read that from my business card. All that and the aesthetically pleasing cracked and shiny top without the electric slide thing going on where it dips down in the middle. The perfect vegan brownies. Let's go. First three things before we get into the recipe. Every ingredient I'm about to give you is in your pantry. Prep time is like five minutes, literally. You don't have to open up a random can of chickpeas that you don't feel like eating. All right, oven preheated, check. Let's prep the Peter pan. We're using an eight by eight and we're going to give this pan wings without the Red Bull. After lightly greasing the pan, this parchment paper overhang will help us remove the chocolate slab when done. On to making the gelatinous flax egg. A little flax, a little water, a little mix, and you're done. I tested this recipe with this, Bob's egg replacer, applesauce, and they all work. Texture has a slight difference with each. Next, get a small saucepan and add your sugar and water. We're making a simple syrup, which takes all of like three minutes. This is going to give you that aesthetic I talked about. Also, it's gonna help melt your chocolate chips without you fiddling around with double boiling or microwave. Stir the sugar and water around and get it going over some heat. While that's happening, let's wrangle together your ingredients in a bowl. Cocoa powder, flour, espresso powder. This is optional. These brownies on a scale of one to 10 are like a 20. This additional ingredient is arguably gonna put it about a 22 or 23 out of 10. Powdered sugar and salt. Whisk that all together well, and then add in your oil, the flax eggs you forgot about, vanilla, and finally your dirty water, better known as simple syrup. Give that a stir until there's no more dry flour and the batter looks edible, ah, but don't eat it. Oh, almost forgot, and those chips, chocolate chips. Drop them in there like Beyonce in concert. To the left, to the left. Just make sure your batter's on the left or you're gonna have chocolate chips everywhere. Fold them in and bring over your baking pan. Spill the batter into the baking pan, then level it with a spatula. Now, onwards to the oven. This was so easy, and about a half hour later, it's time to get the party started. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Believe in good. Peace. All right. Here's how you fix the unfortunate yet edible not cake, not brownie issue. Simply just agree with what everybody else is calling it at the party. Oh, oh wow, you brought a uh, cake? Oh yeah, yes I, yes I did. It's the um, new B-Y-O-F kind.